day is getting long. It seems you are not so lucky. It's definitely not going well for you. Oh really, come on. This time you are certain you will win. Oh shit, again, come on. Let's stop this, you are cheating. Welcome to the second episode of Frog Manual. You've seen that cards are not my strong side unlike the GBBRs, so in the second episode of Frog Manual we will be looking on how to make your speed loader from printed parts. You can of course get it with the magazines from Frog Engineering or you can print them yourselves and assemble it according to this manual. I will also explain how to use it, how it works and uh, yeah, it works for all the Frog Engineering magazines, not only the F Meg 556, but also for HK417 and Pistol Max and all other upcoming magazines from Frog Engineering. First I will show you how to assemble one and then I will show you how to use it with some additional information. Similar to the magazine, there are some parts you need to print, so the two halves of the housing I print them from semi-transparent material. Then there are five internal parts, the BB separator, the cap, the lock, uh, the pusher and the main wheel. You also will need a 6mm hex key, buy it wherever, spring, 6mm in diameter, the wire is 0.5mm, it does not have to be, but this is the leftover spring from FMEG and I'm using 6 coils of this spring. You will also need 6 M2.5 nuts and 6 M2.5 screws, this type 14mm long. The assembly will start here, it's simple, it does not have any uh, pre-assembly steps, so I will just do everything on one screen. First you want to insert this pusher here, like this. Um, one disclaimer, you need to clean out all the parts from all the debris and printing defects when you print this to make sure that it works, especially here in the corners where the BBs will be going through because this uh, area um, might be troublesome and jam the BBs. Then you insert the BB separator and the spring will go here. And I'm using this screwdriver to push it. So that both ends of the spring end up on these um, half spheres on the housing and on the BB separator. And you want the ends of the spring to be flat. Then we put the lock, the cap and finally the wheel goes here like this. When we have all the components inside we can close it with the second half and there are six screws to be screwed and on one side the holes are round for the screw heads and on the other side these holes are hexagonal for the nuts. So very simply drop spring in, drop a nut in and screw together. One screw is ready and when you screw them in do not over tighten it because it might cause some jamming. Uh, there is enough clearance on the parts but because of the printing quality you might get some problems so better to leave it not so tight. And you repeat it in the other holes. And voila, it's ready. Uh, here on the side there is some place where you can put the hex in, key in so that you won't lose it. And now how it works. In order to load the magazine you remove the hex key, you open the cap and you load some BBs. Then we can close it. Here on the rear there is a switch named load and unload so make sure that every time you want to load 
the BBs you are putting this into the bottom position and for unloading the BBs you put it into the top position. If you won't do it, if you forget and you turn on the wrong wrong position, uh, you might get some issues or even damage the speed loader. We will be loading so it's on the bottom. And now we put the hex key here into this hole on the side, in the main wheel. It says on the speed loader, load and unload, forward. So we will be rotating this in the load direction, having it to the forward of the gun, um, if the magazine would be in the gun. In our case it would be like this. We only have to keep it vertical because in this orientation the BBs will not be falling down. Here is the empty magazine, here is the speed loader to the front of the gun and I just rotate this as I said, load direction. Yeah. So you can see the BBs are in and for each full rotation of the wheel there are four cutouts so four BBs will be loaded into the magazine. And I already explained this in the video about the FMAC 556. Uh, there is always the last BB that is going to be possible to be pushed in uh, because there has to be some, uh, some space to compress the spring in case you are inserting this and the slide is forward on the gun. So I believe when you load this you will start to notice where the last BB comes. But in case you overdo it and you push in this last BB, nothing bad will happen. You will just not be able to load the magazine into the gun with the bolt carrier assembly forward. You will have to pull it, pull it back and then the magazine will go in and the capacity be, will be one round more than what I said basically. Just as I said, the same works for the HK417 magazines that are not published yet. You put it over the magazine, front of the gun and you rotate the lever. And the BBs go nicely in. And the same will work for the pistol magazines about which probably you are not aware yet. So again, forward to the front of the gun Pull it over and rotate. Yeah, the BBs go in. One more important thing is that you probably noticed there is this uh, BB separator that is moving inside and it's very important part because it um, allows only one BB to go into the wheel at one time. If there will be more than one BB going inside, that the uh, speed loader will jam. This is the reason why we have this switch here on the rear um, to allow the BB separator to work. So um, it has to move and if you overload the speed loader with BBs so hard that there is absolutely no space for this to move, you will also run into some problems. So don't overdo it, the best try yourself and you'll see uh, what works. Yeah, But remember about this, um, this is very important. For the unloading we put the switch to the top position. And at first it might be a little hard before the parts break in, so you can use the hex key to push it. And exactly the same procedure, uh, I put the hex key in, I take a loaded magazine this time, put it over it. And sometimes if the magazine is really full I will not be able to push it down. Uh, especially in this case that I have one more BB than intended capacity. So I need to start rotating the lever uh, till the moment that the speed loader will go down. Of course in the unload direction. So this is the tricky part because right now uh, if the switch is on top I'm actually able to rotate it in the load direction which will cause jamming. If I have the switch on the bottom position I'm able to rotate the wheel only in one direction so it's safer. 
So beware, if you are unloading, look at the arrow rotated this way. You see that when I rotated this, it automatically went down. And right now, it will start to remove the BBs and you can see them appearing here on the top. And there will come a moment when this wheel will stop rotating. So I'll show you. Don't use a lot of force. Right now I feel there is some resistance. This probably means that it's empty and the wheel catches against the uh, follower in the magazine. So let's see. And you can see the orange follower is on the top, the magazine is empty. So the wheel was pushing against it. So if you feel this resistance, that's it. Magazine is empty. And that's how it works. So it allows you to easily load and unload all the frog engineering magazines for GBBRs. Uh, and when unloading the guns, the BBs are not getting damaged, so you can easily use them um, after loading them again. This allows you to switch uh, between the weights of the BBs quickly if you need to, or just format the magazines. Information regarding the materials and models is in the description. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. And in the next video I'll show you how to assemble the conversion in WE AR15 type of guns. So be sure not to miss it. Thank you and bye.